up, guys, because this show is going to be legend. Wait for it, Derry. Hi there, I'm Victoria. This is me to talk, and today we are going to watch a legendary and awesome show, How I Met Your Mother. It looks like an easy way to improve your English, but actually, this sitcom has so many good phrases, idioms, catchphrases, slang, jargon, and let's dive in together and learn something new to take someone out let's say you want to invite someone somewhere outside from your home to a bar or to a movie or any other activity you are just taking them out and usually we are using this with some romantic intention let's say i took sarah out to a dinner of course it means that they are a couple my deaf brother out since our mom died next one to take care of someone so barney says oh i took care of him means he is responsible for his brother he needs to provide or support for him oh i'm sorry about that no it's okay i have to take care of him now and the next one is very interesting phrase to put something on hold so barney says again I will put that on hold. What does it mean? It means, let's say you have some problems that you have to deal right now, but somehow you decide to do it later. Not today. When do we do everything? Tomorrow. In order to. It's a very common mistake when people use phrase in order to meaning because, but actually it means for the purpose of. For example, we have to eat in order to survive or in order to live. Of course, I have had to put my dreams on hold in order to do it, but I'm happy to. The next phrase, uh, to make something up. Let's say when I don't want to tell the truth, I need to create some story in my head. So basically, I am making something up. Uh, I was late to work and I made up a story about traffic in city center. So it's kind of a small lie. <laughs> I just made that up mid pee. If it worked on you, it's definitely gonna work on the blonde chick at the end of the bar. Next one is very interesting to be fresh. No, we are not talking about fresh food or fresh bread, for God's sake. No, it's quite easy. When something happens recently, and you still think about this, you still have memories, it is fresh to you. The situation or idea can be fresh to you. Or when something bad happens, you still can say, oh, it's so fresh to me, it's so new to you. He's my brother and I love him. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's all still so fresh. And the next phrase is very interesting, to buy something. You know, it's not about money, buying, selling, you know, Bitcoin stuff, forget about that. To buy something means to lie to person and if the person accepts it as a truth, so the person bought it. That's all. Wow, you bought that? <laughs> what? I just made that up mid-P. Be into someone. That's a very, very simple and common phrase. And basically, it means that you like or maybe love someone. I'm into you, that's an easy way of saying I love you. But she should be into me by now. And the opposite phrase is to ditch somebody. Yes, Barney did it a lot. He ditched a lot of girls. So when you want to finish or end relationship with someone, you just ditch them. That's all. Dude, you gotta ditch her, obviously. And what about phrase it suddenly hit me. Are we talking about big rocks flying from the earth or what? Not at all. It hit me or it suddenly hit me means that you realized or understood something that was very much obvious. For example, and it hit me that she never loved me. So finally he realized that she has never loved him back. I just don't think you and I are going to work right now. And that's when it hit me. I was on the hook. I also realized... Um, deep, deep 
steam, 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 steam. Very often when we watch American or any foreign movie, we hear uh, people shouting, dips on that, dips on this. What the hell is dips? Actually, dips means you're right on something. When you want to have something, you will say dips. That means it's yours. Let's say it's a nice Friday evening, uh, together with the friends, you're just eating a big pizza. And there is a one last piece left. Who is going to take it? Of course, the one who shouts dips first. So, when you shout dips first, it means it's yours. Well, that explains where Barney is. Dips on his wings. When you guys do finally blow off the Arcadian, one of them gets to push the button. Dips. We get a nanny. Dibs on the nanny. No, no. Amanda. I called dibs on the portobello mushrooms. Remember, we work together. We're a team. And if anyone sees Heidi Klum, dibs. That's all. Use it. By the way, this is me to talk. I'm Victoria. Do not forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and please share. Take care. Have a nice day. Goodbye.